Afrikaans is the mother tongue to more than six million people in South Africa. It is the language that I grew up in, it is the language that I, I speak in, I love in, I live in, uh, and it is also the language that I write in. You know, I grew up under apartheid. Uh, Afrikaans authors were never translated back in those days. I, but although I only started after the end of apartheid, I had no vision, I had no concept that I would one day be published elsewhere. My only hope was to be published in South Africa. I started writing uh, between four o'clock and seven o'clock in the morning and then went on and did a day job and I did some freelance work as well. And I thought that that would be my life. I would have to write my books in my spare time um, and you know, that's okay because I love it so much. If that was the sacrifice I had to make, then that's fine. It's probably the most difficult process to explain to someone who does not write because it's, it's, a, it's an organic process in which you are both reader and writer at the same time. And as a writer you create characters and you allow them to do things that you perhaps had not planned. But the reader is sort of the, the person watching and saying yes this works or no this doesn't work. And I think that reader uh, has the ability to say, hang on, whatever this character now did, although it looks interesting and sexy, it's not going to work in terms of the story, so come back. What you have to keep in mind as an author is that every decision that you make, every creative decision that you make, if you, this, the decision is, yes, let me allow the characters to go, there are implications to that decision. And you have to be ready for those implications. You have to say, okay, but this is going to really influence my structure, this is going to really change the plot a lot. Am I willing to live with the consequences of this decision? A break like this can be very good or very bad, depending on where I am in terms of the new book. 75% of your time goes into writing the first half of the book and only 25% in the last half. Because the first half is really tough. You've got to get into the book, you've got to get into the characters, you've got to get a feeling for the texture and the sound and the, the atmosphere of, of the book. And to me, that takes a while. And, you know, if you, if, so just when you start getting momentum to then uh, go away on a book tour is very frustrating. But it's not only a bad thing because it also allows you to get a little bit of distance and take a new look. And when I go back now, I will start from the very beginning and, you know, edit all the way through to of the book that I've done now, hopefully uh, what comes out on the other side is fresher and better. I love audiobooks. I actually discovered the, uh, the convenience of audiobooks three, four, five years ago. Being in a car, you know, in South Africa the distances are huge. When we, I have a little uh, holiday place in the Karua, which is almost 600 kilometers from Cape Town, so it's about five and a half hours of driving. And with audiobooks, that time is not wasted. It is filled with, with fantastic books. So I personally absolutely love audiobooks, and that's why I'm so delighted that my books are available as audiobooks too. I thought Joachim was fantastic. You know, the interesting thing to me was it's the first time I think that I've done a, a reading with the same actor who read my book for the audiobook. And I could immediately hear the difference. I could hear that this guy really knew these characters. He understood the story. Just the, you know, the moments that he paused, the inflections, I thought this was, this was such a fantastic reading. And then he's a really nice guy too. South Africa is the most beautiful country in the world. If you don't believe me, come take a look. We have everything from palm beaches on our east coast to the deserts of our west coast with a high felt in between. We have the garden route. Cape Town is a spectacularly beautiful city. South Africa is this incredibly dynamic society. Uh, you know, all the different cultures and all the different languages and all the different aspirations. Uh, it's, it makes for a very exciting environment.